Herodos of the Frogs, Dionysus and Xanthius continue their journey and discover Charon, ferryman of Hades, rowing his boat across the lake. Charon offers to take Dionysus across, but refuses passage to the slave, Xanthius. Dionysus and Xanthius make plans to meet up at the Wuthering Rock in Hades, and Dionysus climbs aboard. As Dionysus and various extras begin to row, a chorus, as frogs, begins to sing. And Dionysus is at first annoyed with the frogs, but then decides to compete with them. But before Dionysus or the frogs can win the competition, the boat reaches the far shore of the lake. Xanthius is waiting for his master, and the two continue on their way. They encounter both the sewer and the shape-shifting monster Hercules mentioned, and they finally hear the sound of flutes, and the chorus, as humans, enters. The chorus completes a body song and dance, much to the delight of Dionysus and Xanthius, who have arrived at Pluto's door. The chorus dances off stage, and Dionysus knocks at the door. The song of the chorus, as frogs, on the lake is the source of the title of the play, the frogs. The bizarre words from this verse, however, have great significance to Dionysus and the cult that followed him. The frogs connect poetry to worshiping the gods and harmony in society at the end of the play. Dionysus does not appreciate the frogs' harmonious and sweet melodies, reflecting how he's traveling to the underworld to bring back Euripides, who at this time is more aligned with Dionysus' perspective. The frog's first line, the songs we sang for Nyssa's lord, for Dionysus, son of Zeus, refers to Dionysus' youth on Mount Nyssa. There, according to some sources, Dionysus was brought up secretly by nymphs running wild among the lakes and mountains. The second line, in Limni at the Feast of Jars, refers to an event called the Anthesteria, a celebration of both wine and death. The final lines, as people in their drunken glee thronged into our sanctuary, refers to the events held on the 12th day of that event, during which drinking contests were held. It's unknown whether members of the chorus would have actually dressed in frog costumes and sung on stage, or whether they would have sung from offstage.